Hey everybody, yes, I'm back once again, and in this video, we're going to be doing this. Yes, with a benchmark in the Moto G. So yes, it is now time to benchmark the Moto G, which, as we all know, is running a 1.2 GHz quad-core processor with 1 GB of RAM and an Adreno 305 GPU. For those non-tech heads out there that are watching this one, it's an okay processor. Um, but nonetheless, we're going to benchmark it, we're going to see how it performs and see if it's worthy of your £125, £135, depending on where you buy this device in the UK. But it's going to be about $180 in America, so yeah, we're going to see how it does perform. Again, benchmarks don't mean everything. I've got a feeling this is going to benchmark pretty poorly. This device is not a poor device, so you can see it's the first time we're running this actual test itself. And what we'll do just to make sure it's a fair test, we'll just close down the other applications in the background. So let's just go for the test and we'll do the standard test. So as always, we're going to let it do its thing. We'll come back at the end of the test and we'll uh, see what the scores and the doors are. So that is it people, that is the uh, first Antutu benchmark done. And where do we come in at? Are we going to be the top? Are we going to be the top? Where are we? Where are we? Let's scroll down. And boom. Now look at that. The Google Nexus 4 is just underneath it. Now, I don't know if it's me or... I'm impressed by that. Again, it's not fantastic. It's not bloody Galaxy Note 3 material. Oh, sorry about that. It's not a Galaxy Note 3 material, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. That's that's pretty good, actually. I'm more impressed with that one than I thought it was going to be. So, yes, the Antutu benchmark brings in 17,048. What do you reckon? Are you impressed by that? Let me know down below. The next one we're going to do is Antutu. Should I say Quadrant? So, let's load Quadrant up. And again, the first time I'm running this one on there. So, we'll just click OK. And what we'll do is we'll actually close on 2 2 and we'll go back into Quadrant. So, we're going to run the full benchmark. We're going to let it do its thing once again. And we'll see what it does in regards to the uh, Quadrant benchmark. Let's see if it can do pretty good. Again, I'm so far I'm not too bad in that. Anyway, Sam, shut up and let's uh, do the test. <laughs> So that's Quadrant finished as well. I've got to say that was a bit faster than I expected it to do the actual test. So let's just click OK. And where are we? So we've obviously got the HTC One X in the top. And my device is boom. Ooh, 8,770. Again, I'm pretty impressed with that. When you consider that it's, you know, it's not the um, latest and greatest processor. It is a Snapdragon 400, but it's it should be theoretically slower than HTC One X, but it's almost double that in terms of this benchmark. Again, the benchmark doesn't mean everything, but it's nice. We always like benchmarking them, even if they come in and rubbish or good. It's always nice to do it just because we get an indication of where the processor could be. And again, this is running a very stock build of Android, and stock builds of Android don't normally benchmark great. Anyway, the next one we're going to do is Geekbench Three. So yeah, here it is, Geekbench 3. Now, as you can hopefully see there, if it wants to focus, that's the model number, the XT1032, run Android 4.3. It's got a Qualcomm, an ARM Qualcomm, uh, 1.19 gigahertz. So we're not quite at the 1.2 on my device, but close enough. And the amount of memory shows is 882, which we know is one gigabyte. Anyway, let's run this benchmark, and let's see how this one performs. Again, so far, I'm pretty impressed in terms of the numbers, but we'll see how... Um, Geekbench 3, see how that performs. So yeah, be right back. Right people, that is it. That is Geekbench 3 done. Now, unlike Quadrant, that seems to take ages. Don't know why. And the scores for this one are single core 333 and a multi core of 1061. So, them ones, the actual uh, Geekbench score, not great, 
But again, benchmarks don't mean everything. I was impressed by the actual um, Quadrant and, and Tutu benchmark though. But this one is kind of where I expected it to be, to be honest with you. So it's not too bad at all. So yeah, that's it people. That is my benchmarking on, yes, the Moto G. What do you reckon? I got to say, again, I'm, I'm impressed by it. Um, again, it's not the fastest processor out there. It's not designed for that. But in terms of the benchmark scores, they ain't half bad. They're not the better than I expected. But you tell me what you think down below to underneath that likes button. Why you need a like button and go on, tickle it. You know you want to tickle it. And also subscribe. It's free. And anyway, people, thanks for watching this one. If you want to hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, all those links are in the description. And check out my website, samjpullen.com. Anyway, thank you for watching this one. And you'll see me very shortly in my next one. Cheers, everyone.